Hi everyone, my name is Beth. I'm a librarian at the Weinberg Library in Mequon, and today I'm going to talk to you about a database called Gale Courses. So Gale Courses is a database that is provided through the Monarch Library System, of which the Weinberg Library is a part, and it essentially offers you access to university courses or college courses all online and completely for free. Courses last about six weeks, and new sessions begin every four weeks on the second Wednesday of every month. To get to Gale Courses, you'll first want to go to our website. Then near the top of the screen, you'll mouse over eServices. Over on the left here, under Digital Services, we'll go down and click on Gale Courses. That takes you to a description page, and then we'll say Access Gale Courses and its class list. So this is the home screen for the database. If you want to go ahead and dive in looking for a course you'd like to take, you can look for a specific one if you know the topic you want or the title of the course by clicking into this search bar where it says enter search here and typing in a subject or the name of the course if you know it. So for example, if I wanted to learn about Microsoft Excel, I could type in Excel and then it drops down and gives me some suggestions of what I might mean. And I could choose any of these to continue and see the results. Um, or I can click on the magnifying glass over here to finish the search. Now I'm getting some results here. I have a bunch of different courses. Um, right now they're sorted by relevance. I can also sort them alphabetically by name. If I click on any of these courses, I can see more about them. I get a brief summary here. And then I can see the start dates for the next few months for each course. So you'll notice the very next time that this course will be offered is August 12th, which is again the second Wednesday of the month. And there are a bunch of different versions of Excel that are covered in different courses here. So depending on what you're looking for, you may find quite a lot here that you can take advantage of. If I wanted to just browse and see what courses are out there, I can click View Catalog in the top left corner here. That also takes me to a full list of all the courses offered by Gale Courses, which is sorted by relevance, which I think actually means popularity in this case because we didn't do a search, but can also be sorted alphabetically if I click name A-Z. And again, it looks the same as the results screen we saw before. I can click on any of these. I can see when they're offered next. I can see how long they last, a little bit about them, all of that good stuff. I can also narrow down by topic using the Browse Catalog options over here. So I can choose between Accounting and Finance, Business Courses, Computer Courses, all kinds of different subjects. And clicking on any of these would just pare this list down to topics that match these various subjects. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a course here so we can see a little bit more about it. I'm going to choose Drawing for the Absolute Beginner. So once you've clicked on a course, it takes you to a description. You've got some details about the, um, the subjects that will be covered and the topics they'll discuss, how long it lasts. Um, so it's 24 hours of instruction over the course of six weeks, so it's about four hours of instruction each week. You can learn more about the instructor and what sort of expertise they bring to the class. You can preview the syllabus. If you click on syllabus, so you'll see each week as it's broken down. You can see requirements for the course, if any. Um, so sometimes they'll tell you you have to have a certain piece of software. Um, other times they'll tell you that there are prerequisites, which would be other Gale courses. Um, so if you tried to take an intermediate drawing class, for example, you'd probably be required to take this beginner course first. And then you can see student reviews. So at the end of every course, um, students are encouraged to input feedback. And some of that feedback appears here in the student reviews section. So if you're not sure if you want to take something, you can click over here and see what other people thought. If you're ready to go ahead and take the plunge with a course, if you're ready to enroll, you can click on Enroll Now near the top right corner of its screen. And then you'll be prompted to choose a start date, which I'm going to go ahead and choose the 12th, the next one coming up, but I could also do September, October, or November. You'll always be given four options. You may see a course that's already started listed here. So I'm recording this on August 4th. If I was recording it on August 16th, the August 12th date would still show up. I've had mixed success jumping into a course that's already going. A couple weeks in, it'll let you join the course but you won't be able to actually access any of the content. A few days in though, you should be able to, to go ahead and dive in and catch up. So um, you can try it if you're really close to the start date and you wanna see if you can get in. Um, otherwise, I would just wait for the next available session. Um, so again, sessions always start the second Wednesday of the month. So hopefully you won't have to wait too, too long depending on when you're trying to dive in. So I'm gonna say continue enrollment. 
and now I'm being prompted to sign in. If you don't already have an account, you're going to use this new student start here box. So the first thing you're going to do is put in your email address, which I will do now, and then you'll say create a new account. And now you're prompted to put in your email address twice to make a password um, that's at least eight characters long. And then over here on the right, you'll be prompted to put in your student information. So your name, your address, your phone number, just some basic contact information. None of this information will be sold. It's all private. It's just in case they need to get a hold of you for some reason. Once you fill in all these fields, you'll click continue, and then you'll be taken through the rest of the process of enrolling in the course. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to log in to my account. So once you've signed in and continued your enrollment process, you'll be prompted to make sure that your student information is still accurate. Um, this information will autofill based on what you put in when you registered, uh, but they show it to you one more time just to make sure that it, it looks right. And if it does, you can say continue. And then you'll finally be asked to enter in your library card number. And again, the Gale Courses system is paid for by the Monarch Library System as a whole, so you don't have to be a Mequon resident or a Themesville resident to use it. Um, as long as you have a Monarch Library System library card, you can use this Gale Courses database. So I'm going to put in my library card number, and then I'll say Use Library Card. So once you have put in all the information that Gale Courses needs, you'll be taken to this confirmation screen. You'll also receive an email at the email address that you provided with some information about the course, um, including your instructor and how to contact them, and you'll be sent a link for how to access the course once it goes live, because you won't be able to get into it until the day that it starts, which in this case is August 12th. So that's how to find a course and enroll in it. Once you're enrolled in a course, you can access it by clicking on My Classroom near the top of the screen. So if a course is ongoing, if it was August 12th today, and I was able to get into my drawing for the Absolute Beginner course, it would show up here in this Active Courses field. Then I could click on it and I could see my syllabus, I could see lectures that the um, instructor had posted. Uh, lectures typically go up on Wednesdays and Fridays and last about two hours. I could also see assignments, quizzes, a discussion forum if there's a discussion section for the course, things like that. I mentioned that courses typically go up on Wednesdays and Fridays. You don't have to watch them right when they go up. You can watch them anytime because all of this is online. So if Wednesday and Friday tend to be busy and a different day of the week would be better, or if you'd rather do it over the weekend, you can. You just have to complete the lectures and the assignments for each week within 14 days of them being posted. So if you go two full weeks without doing anything in the class, you'll get kicked out. But otherwise, you're good to go. Just get it done as you can get it done as long as it's within the two weeks. And if you need help, the instructor is just an email away. Because I'm registered for Drawing for the Absolute Beginner, I do see it over here on the left under Upcoming Courses. So again, it's starting on August 12th. And I have this Orientation button, which if I click on it, takes me through to a description from the instructor um, and some information about how to access the course once we actually get started. And then I can go through the course description, some mechanics, questions, the syllabus, um, just like it says, orientation details that I'm going to need to know to get the most out of this course once it actually begins. So on August 12th or sometime after that, I would come back, click on My Classroom, and this Drawing for the Absolute Beginner course will have moved into my active courses, and then I could go ahead and dive in. Previous courses that I've completed would show up over here on the left, which I don't have any. When you complete a course, you'll receive a certificate indicating that you have. Some courses can be used to count toward receiving a certification or a license, like a nursing license. And when that's the case, you'll be given the documentation or the certificate at the end of the course. You can also access them by going into your previous courses, uh, and then you can get to those files again. Again, every course on Gale Courses lasts six weeks. So 24 hours, about two hours on Wednesday and two hours on Friday of, of work. Again, keep in mind that all courses last about six weeks, and they say they have about 24 hours of instruction and assignments and various other expectations. But again, because they're online, you can complete those as you, as you go. 
They're also graded on a pass-fail basis. The instructor decides based on how active you were and based on how much you participated with your classmates and how many of the assignments you completed. They determine whether or not you pass or fail. As always, the handout for this course is in the description below. And my contact information is at the end of the handout, so if you have questions, please feel free to get in touch. You can also contact Gale Courses if you click on Feel Free to Contact Us near the bottom of the screen on their website. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this was helpful, and I will see you next time.